Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, just being a part of uh, each other's puzzle, going down this crazy journey, just to know that things will get better and they are getting better. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when you girls want to upload our next video. Also, if you uh, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you are... Uh, if you feel like the videos are, you know, very informative to you or just giving you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family or friend, or even a fellow empath that's truly going through some hard times right now and needing uh, confirmation and validation towards their life, please go ahead and share. And while, while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, y'all, I'm so tired. It, it's just like, I only got like three hours of sleep last night, and I'm really trying to push through this. I said, I'm going to do one more video after this, and I'm, you know what? I'm just, I'm dead after that. So, uh, but anyways, this motivational video, motivational, this meditation video is Boost Your Serotonin Dopamine Endorphin Release binarial beats happiness frequency this is my favorite I, i'm going to this like three or four times and it, i'm just hoping they'll lift my vibes up because it's like i'm really comfortable right now i want to go ahead and lay down but i've got things to do so uh but anyways my video is about twin flames 101 hey okas when your painful experience converts into a beautiful outcome you know um when we go through things it is just like it can be really traumatic it can really put you overboard there's a lot of people that have went through some really traumatizing things and are not here today to be able to say that they went through traumatizing things they got the best of them and they chose the easy way out which is not really easy to do something like that but you know um if you've been on the brink of you know, not wanting to feel your pain anymore, not to want to wake up and have to do everything all over again. It's just like a same rotating wheel. You get up and you feel like you're just waking up to a nightmare. I've done that a lot. And just going through this, these situations where, you know, I've had different experiences, you know, being abused and being mistreated in like any kind of way that it seems possible is really been hurtful. But it's just like when you uh, like I've did videos before it's like there's a purpose behind the pain that you have you have endured you know we have went through so many different things and it's like we're not still I mean we're still healing from the things that we went through this life but in actuality we're actually healing from everything we have endured since the beginning of time and it's just like that's the reason why everything is so hard for you right now it's just like you can't bear it you know uh, you probably have panic attacks, more headaches, um, just a wall of emotions. It's just like up, down, up, down, you know, tiredness right now. But I'm not even tired for sadness. Just the fact is I didn't get that much sleep. But, you know, going through all these different things, we, I mean, there's probably been a breaking point with you where, you know, um, you really felt like I can't deal with it no more this is just too much you know I've been like that where I said I just feel everything and I'm tired of feeling everything and it would be, you know even my daughter's like mom what do you mean everything I mean everything I'm feeling that all energy plus my energy and the energy from you know many years ago it can be, be overwhelming it can be consuming to your life but it's just like when you can actually take yourself out of that that sadness out of that dark place and really see yourself for who you truly are and knowing that you have tried to conquer this and it's just like the reason why it's so hard this time because we're cutting off everything this is going to be this generation that is cutting off every you know curse it's like the karmatic cycle or karmatic curses or no generational curses and karmatic cycles 
karmic cycles. But uh, going through all those different things, we had to be able to learn. Learn our strength, know our weaknesses, heal from our weaknesses, heal from our sadness, heal from the things that has really tried to break you down in every way, shape, form, fashion. And it, it's just like when you can see things, like when you finally can get to that point where you say enough is enough. These things, you know, um, has really messed me up as going through so many different things as a child or enduring things as an adult and still, you know, carrying that over. Because, I mean, you can really get messed up to the point where it's from your childhood. And the sad thing is, like, if you really went through, through some traumatizing things, it can label off some mental illnesses when you get older or even when you're, you know, going through your preteens heading towards an adult. And that's really sad because I've seen a lot of cases like that. And it, it's just like when we go through all these things, it, I mean, it could be a jacked up situation. And it, it's just like when you try to really understand why am I going through these things? Why, do, you know, why me? Why am I a magnet towards all these bad things that I have in my life? And why can't I, you know, send some Set, get free from because it's like we're always running away from our situations it's like with me when I had my addictions you know I you know I smoked weed I smoked cigarettes you know I had a glass of wine every now and then you know I used to be a heavy drinker at one time when I before I started smoking marijuana and I mean I used to get drunk like even though I wouldn't, wouldn't go out to clubs and stuff like that but I would get home stay home you know put my children to bed and you know just party animal and to the point I used to get sick at times and then when I dropped one habit I picked up another one and it was just like I stopped drinking like that and then I started drinking like wine coolers or wine or any um you know and then started smoking weed because I wanted to get you know they I used my cigarettes as an escape stress reliever I used my weed as a stress reliever because I was enduring so much you know i was having people mess with me at my job you know you know you needed your job so you can't really you know pop off in the mouth like you wanted to but you had to go through those situations like and just grit your teeth like you know what i gotta get past this 90 day probation and that's what people used to mess with me about anybody who actually came into that job they would try to you know mess with them so they wouldn't last that 30 day pr probation but going through these things it helps you learn a lot of things about your mistakes that you had, a lot of things about yourselves that you went through, and it can be really traumatizing just to put yourself back in that spot to try to understand why the things happen the way they happen. I mean, a lot of times we don't get the answers on why we actually went through this situation, but the important thing about it is for you to be able to overcome what has happened to you. You know, it's like, when I when I've said it before in other videos, excuse me, if you, when these things happen to you, we don't need to be a walking billboard on saying, okay, this happened to me. You can be that walking billboard and say, okay, this happened to me, but look at the positive things that I was able to do. You know, when I've seen, you know, it's a, a hurtful thing when you can see a woman getting sexually assaulted, but then on top of this, when you can see people doing seminars on, you know, like the Me Too movement, you know, they made a movement off of this because there's so many women that went through this. Instead of explaining it, they just said Me Too. And it just seems like when a tragic situation comes into our lives and you can sit up here and say, you know what, this has happened to me. I want to make sure nobody else has to go through the things that I went through. I don't want anybody else to endure this, you know, and if they went through this, they, they have somebody they can come to for assistance. They have somebody they can come to to talk to. You know, and those are the tragic situations to bring inside of, convert inside of a beautiful outcome. Like with my situation, being able to constantly heal. It's like I'm, I'm learning as I go. You know, I, when I pick up on things, it's like my gifts get stronger. You know, I get stronger. I get wiser. You know, healing from things, it wasn't easy. You know, because it's like, I used to get angry at universe and I was like, you, you're asking me <laughs> to not be mad at these people for doing what they did to me. But I understand the magnitude of that because I should not walk around being angry because that's giving them power over my life. Even when these people are not even in my life anymore. I can't allow them to keep affecting me the way they did when I was a child because I'm no longer a child. I'm an adult now. 
and it's just like when we we tend to be healing and growing especially with us being helpers you know we are mirroring but we're also attracting people that might be able to have the same kind of interest like with us when it comes to things that we need to let go of because when you start seeing it from the outside in and you just like oh i did that that's not cute <laughs> you know and then when you can see it from somebody else doing the things that you are doing it tends to help you you know like okay back up let me let me reset myself let me do these things because that was not cute when i'm seeing this person do what i was doing and it didn't look good when i did it so you know it doesn't look good when they do it so it's a lot of times you know tragic situations happen and it's just so many things that i can say within the world for instance it's a sad situation about nipsey hustle that he passed away but if you see the magnitude of so much positivity it has brought along this tragic situation it's like god rest his soul i have prayers out for lauren london and her children and you know his other children and his family that was a hurtful situation especially when that man came up on the come up and he was like you know helping other people you know doing things for his community in california and all of a sudden somebody just snatched this this guy's life away i mean got a grammy or something like that so i'm really not sure what all this he just recently got some awards so it was just like heartbreaking to hear somebody was on their you know on their come up living their best life and somebody came off and was stupid enough to take this man away but after his death you see so many different things coming along where it had something to do with his life i mean lapd had put something out for them the cops <laughs> you know and that's some crazy stuff when you actually see the cops they're actually saying something about nipsey hustle that's a that's a blessing i see you know his culture his religion they're you know they're doing um rallies and stuff like that the sign of islam or something like that because i think he's muslim you know all these different things are coming out there they're doing rallies they're doing stands they're doing marathons we have to be able to look at things like that even though it's a sad situation that that man's being used in, as a positive example because he has made an impact on so many people's lives by doing so many positive things and it's sad that that man stood up here and got his life shortened like that you know they're using his life as an example for so many positive things you know he was trying to find a cure for cancer a cure for aids being able to make that documentary and all of a sudden boom he's gone but being able to do situations like that and being able to have a tragedy, even though these people are still healing because this just happened a few days ago. You know, I actually two weeks ago. You know, so that that's still a process they're still grieving over. So it's just like to see this impact on people's lives that he this man has done is very beautiful. So know whatever you're going through. When it's when it, when you can heal and you can finally see the situation for what it is it's going to bring a beautiful outcome for you because then you know this pain has brought out strength it has brought out wisdom it has brought out lessons and blessings it, it gave you this reason to know who you truly were and it took a, a, a messed up situation for them for you to be opened up to see how you really are to the world what your purpose was to the world why you're here why you were brought right here right now so it's just like keep on healing i know it takes a day-by-day -day process but it's going to take a day-by-day -day process you know they didn't build one room room in a day so it's like you can't be hard on yourself i tell myself that all the time i get frustrated when i just can't get over something like that right now and then i have to keep telling myself if you want bigger and better things in your life you're gonna have to be able to let these other things go just do what you keep doing healing keep making videos recognizing the things you weren't able to recognize before and keep it moving better days are coming for you so i hope you are able to res re uh, resonate with the content of my video much love to you know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and i'm giving my shout out to um let me see let me see let me see express earth angel freak uh 154 much love to you peace and be wow